change Got a little bit of change in my pocket, but I'm maintaining You were young and in this world Chasing dreams and Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel My name's Nadi So today I'm gonna be doing something a little different I'm gonna be doing deep conditioning with you guys and I'm also gonna be reviewing this product that I've never tried before. The TGIN Rose Water Hydrating Hair Mask. And we're also gonna be doing a little chit chat. Talk about something that's been, you know, on my mind. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then we can do something like this more frequently on my channel. And when I was in the shower, did my hair, um, shampooed my hair, I used their shampoo. As you can see, you know, it's still new. It's my first time using it. Um, so this is the rose water sulfate free hydrating shampoo i really enjoyed the shampoo i'm not gonna lie a little goes a long way did use kind of a lot but it really wasn't it wasn't stripping but it did make my hair feel clean and then like once i was like rinsing it out i was able to like run my fingers through my hair and the smell i love the smell it smells it's really nice i'm gonna do the deep conditioning and if you guys hear my fan i'm so sorry I might turn it off in the middle of the video, who knows? We're gonna be talking about self-worth and essentially why I'm single, I guess. So I'm about to take this off. Okay. So I might get a bit personal with y'all in this video. I don't know how personal, because I obviously don't know fully 100% what I'm gonna say, but definitely might be getting person okay so for some of you guys you guys might know that i was in a relationship um my hair isn't dry but i'm i think i'm gonna put some more water in my hair so that i can tangle with the deep conditioner they all smell the same and the only thing i've ever tried from tgin was their other deep conditioner the manuk no honey is that the same the honey, you know, I'm gonna put in the pit. I'm gonna put a picture of it. I never tried in TGI and I bought it multiple times. I was in love. Really high hopes for this deep conditioner too. Okay, but anyway, so yeah, I was in a relationship with this guy. Okay, okay. This is so soft. Like it's not like it feels really nice. I'm gonna just twist up every um section that I do. Anyway, so yeah, we didn't last, which sucks, but things happen basically right now i don't want to get fully into like why we're not together you know there was never there wasn't like we didn't break up because of cheating or anything in that sort so right now i would say that i i can admit you know i'm not perfect i do i do go through things i have feelings i just um i'm dealing with self-worth and loving myself you hear all the time how can you love somebody else if you don't love yourself is literally so true i've i've tried to talk to a few people since that relationship and they haven't worked out i realized i'm a person that i tend to put other people first if your feelings and you are really getting jeopardized in the process of you deciding to put somebody else first like you're hurting in that process then no because sometimes you just need to know when it's appropriate to put someone else before you I really like the decommissioner so far anyway so yeah you just gotta know when it's appropriate to put someone else before you I, I this is kind of weird and uncomfortable to say because this is like really personal but i'm trying to just picture myself just talking to myself like i'm just trying to think like i'm just talking to myself but maybe there's all the people who are feeling the same way that i am i don't think that i the prettiest i don't think that i'm the best look like sometimes you know i just don't think that highly of myself you know sometimes i have my days where i'm like ooh. Naya, you look good, girl. Okay, go ahead, go off. That's cute. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I'm real, I feel really good about myself. I can hype myself up. I'm like, okay, Naya, go you. I do a lot of comparing. Like, I compare myself a lot. You know, you probably shouldn't do that, but I don't know. I can't help it. But I think it also plays because growing up, I kind of feel like 
I was compared to other people and it doesn't feel that good. And to this day, sometimes I get compared to other people and not the best way and it doesn't make me feel good about myself. So I'm really trying to learn like not to really care about other people's opinion. And I'm still trying to learn about myself as well, you know? Um, this is all a learning process. And it, a lot of, I, I've, I've grown, but I still battle with a little demons. I still battle with my worth and you know what I'm saying? Like, but as far as like me being single, I'm not really pressed. I'm not really fiending for a relationship. I mean, if I could find somebody to like to vibe with or whatever and just, I don't know. I'm just kind of like in the more, in the, in the headspace of whatever happens, happens, whoever comes is meant to come. First relationship, I've only been in two real relationships, like two real, to me, they were real. Well, the second one was more real than the first. But the thing is, is that at first I wasn't patient. At first I was just, you know, out here looking for another relationship because I just thought that I could not stay single. It's not true. Until finally I came to my senses and I was like, like Naya, chill out, chill out. Like literally whatever will come to you, come to you. And then it did, like literally came out of the blue. I just feel like whenever anything is meant to come your way, it will come your way. Because at the end of the day, I'm young, I'm 21. So enough about that. My, my like I said, my main, issue is really like dealing with self-worth i've been put in many situations where i have to choose you know me or that i'm the type of person too like, i don't like people being mad at me i don't like people being disappointed in me i just i and that's what kind of plays into that's why i do what i do for others and that's why i tend to put you know these people first because I'm a people pleaser and I need to stop being a people pleaser. Caring about what people think of me is why. And, and the thing is too, is that I'm aware that I do it. I'm very aware, but I don't know how to not do it. I have to put some people down because I've been put in situations where people wouldn't put me first. They wouldn't, they haven't. And to, you know, learn my value, like, you know, for example, there's this guy started talking to oh what's that talk to i don't know this guy and he was feeling me whatever you know how in the beginning like it's all cool it's always cool in the beginning until you start getting used to them and they don't start doing the same thing that they used to do in the beginning whatever he was feeling me until but the beginning i was not feeling him at all i'm very clear i did not see nothing ever happening in the future i was like um no like i just need you to know that this is what it is he was like okay but he was still on me he was still taking me play he, you know i was still entertaining it low-key i'm not gonna lie till you know the texting slowed down the call slowed down like it all just started slowing down and after a certain point in time i was starting to feel him probably more than he was feeling me and it it happened and then i was literally on this man's ass like i'm not even lying and he was like barely giving me a time of day like it was kind of like just when he felt like it and then when you know when he wanted to see me when he wanted to chill me all this da, 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 i would drop whatever i was doing to see this man for what we stopped talking for months and this is all recently this is all recently i'm chilling right i swear to god i think i manifest shit i'm not even kidding i've been like thinking about saying od or i just think about what if this like it fucking happens, I swear. I was thinking about him, but not in a way like I wanted to see him or anything. Just more of a like, I was just thinking like about him. And I'm laying in bed, ready to go to sleep. And then my fucking phone and my watch starts ringing. And he, look at my phone and it's him. Nigga, what? I literally <laughs> started shaking. Only because I'm like, yo, why the, like, is this shit real? What the hell? Like, literally, oh, I want to see you. Da -da -da. How you been? Da -da 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 -da. When I tell you. Dub, 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 out of this nigga. I swear to God. And he said, I want to see you. I said, uh, I made an excuse. I was like, mm, don't really want to get out of my house right now. Hey, how you doing? Da -da 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 -da. On my ass again. Still made up another excuse. Again. Think of, and then yesterday, literally yesterday, I'm chilling. Man hits me up twice in the same day 
trying to see me at two different times and I was not going for none of that. I'm not interested. So I just feel like I'm, I'm starting to realize that, you know, I can realize if a person is good for me or not now. And you know, unfortunately it does take me a little longer <laughs> than most, but I think that was growth. I think that I was able to finally put myself first and be like, you know, I realized that he is no good and goodbye. Like, I've been thinking like, you know, just because someone treats you a certain way, does that mean that you deserve to be treated like that? Or does not mean like that's how you are? Like, I don't know. That's on them. If they want to treat you like that, then they want to treat you like that. But to be honest, like, you know, some days I really don't have good days. I have like really low days and so I'll tell you guys like what I've been doing sometimes to like make my, feel, myself feel good. I look up, like I actually Google how to, how to obtain self love. Uh, edges matter guys, don't neglect the edges. So um, at a certain point, I also had a journal, my journal every day. Um, that actually helped. The journal, not gonna lie, that journal actually helped. I threw it away only because it was a, it was like, it was like a notebook. It wasn't even really a journal, but it was kind of to the point where I thought someone would like find it and read my stuff. And there was a lot of stuff in there that was pretty personal. I didn't want anyone else to read but me. And I'm gonna buy another, I need to buy a new one. Something that like locks. Like I just really want it to be for me, with me, only me, only my eyes only, you know? Like I find that sometimes if you don't have someone to talk to, which I don't have someone to talk to, I don't like to really tell other people my problems because I don't want them to feel like they're entitled to listen. Yeah, I don't know, that just means, that just means. Uh. You're basically not just keeping it in. You're take, you're, ex you're expressing your feelings, you're saying what you feel, you're writing it down though. That's just the only difference. And I'll just write everything that I feel. If I had a good day, if I had a bad day, what do I feel right now? Like. The journal definitely helped. Just got a regular bag. Yeah, all in all, oops. everybody has problems. I can acknowledge that I have problems. I can acknowledge that I'm not perfect. I can acknowledge all these things I just feel like right now i know that i'm not ready for another relationship simply because i know that i'm not fully there with myself mentally and i'm not fully there with myself with loving myself fully i love myself I'm not saying that i don't love myself but you know what i mean like you just have to realize that sometimes you are like you're you're supposed to be that person you're supposed to be like you don't need anybody else sometimes so growing as a person 100 percent. yeah as far as the mask goes i used i didn't use that much actually so i'm gonna leave this in my hair for like 30 minutes maybe um i'll rinse it out and then i'll come back say my final thoughts and then that'll be end of the video yeah. reach the end of the video Rinse the um, deep conditioner out. I actually kept it in for like 40 minutes. Bro, when I tell you, when I was taking down the twist, felt so soft. Like I cannot express that enough. So yeah, this is my hair. It feels so nice. I'm about to put it back up though because I'm not about to style my hair in this exact moment. I really did enjoy this deep condition. Um, I hope that the topic was something that you guys found interesting. Maybe some of you guys could relate. Maybe I helped somebody. Who knows? If you guys can see more of these deep conditioner talks, I'll definitely provide. But this deep conditioner definitely gets a 10 out of 10 from me. The end of this video enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell next to it if you haven't already and comment down below what you guys want to see next if you guys really want to see more videos like this i'll see you in my next video